Hey everyone, I was super excited to see another goal achieved of mine and that was 25,000 views on YouTube. I just wanted to share my appreciation and give a huge thank you to all of you learning BPMN and who have supported my channel. And with that, let's get started. I wanted to share how we create business intelligence reports for customers using BPMN while demonstrating how to use a few advanced modeling concepts. I'm going to use Trisotex animation feature to walk through those advanced modeling concepts as we create a business intelligence report for customers. We start off by receiving a client request for BI report. One of the first steps is to review the key performance indicators. However, in some instances, startups and those scaling up do not always have clear strategic intent and corresponding information. Here, we are able to apply the boundary event concept and create an exception flow when the client does not have KPI information. When this occurs, we place the conditional intermediate event on the boundary of the activity. We place the sequence flow describing the exception flow, which leads to the subprocess develop KPI. We scan the ecosystem after that, and we can use the open source data, or in this case, data.gov, to illustrate collaboration. For simplicity, we'll just describe a simple request response message flow. As we begin to transform competitive data into a detailed report, there are some instances in which new data sources are identified. Here we use the non-interrupting event to illustrate how a new flow is created that does not disrupt the normal process flow when a new data source is identified. We will talk about this in a moment since it has not interrupted our teaching of this process, and we'll continue by building out that target state business model and test some assumptions through simulation. We'll use the exclusive gateway to indicate that we need to make some tweaks and test again, and then deliver that BI assessment to the customers. By looking and using, by using the non-interrupting boundary event and looking at it, we can see that the process was not interrupted as we have an active token from the earlier use of that conditional boundary event that is non-interrupting. In this instance, that new token was created, but the additional steps were not completed yet. It happens, uh, but now that the heavy lift is done and the customer has the BI assessment, we can add this new source and we now no longer have active tokens and our process is completed. Again, a special thanks to everyone who has supported this channel and has enjoyed learning about BPMN I will see you in the next video.